Hi there, it's Lego Devil 2011 bringing you another city review of the Lego City passenger train. It is recommended ages 6 to 12, number 7938. It has three minifigures and it costs 119.99 euro over here and uh, has power functions. Has 16 normal tracks, 16 bendy tracks, which makes a Diameter of 71 centimeters by 96 centimeters. I don't have the track. Well, I do, but it's because I got the train station, it's added on, so I won't show you it. But it's pretty big. Not as big as the old cargo train, but it's still big. Uh, so, onto the minifigures. Get this guy. Uh, great, normal grey trousers. Um, this top, which is like the one you get in the train station you have this little sign here for the train that's a train sign and this little white thing in his pocket which hopefully is nothing to do with prescription drugs and his alcoholic face which we've seen quite a lot in the sets and his purple cap which from what I know it's uh, I don't think you can get this this uh, cap in any other set which is cool. Not that printing. But. So over here we can see these two innocent people are about to be mobbed by Luke Skywalker and his crew with a cow and some guy, a robber, with a rifle. Let's save the girl who has a face that's saying, Hey, how you doing? Which is a little wrong, I think, is a good way to put it. They should have a face like wait, this. Why don't they put this face there? She looks like a man. A strange gypsy man who drives around in his caravan. It's double-sided, which is good. The top has back printing beige trousers. This handbag, which is cool. So it does prevent her from sitting down, which is sort of annoying. Well, that's... And you get this hair, which I don't really like because it makes her look even more like a man. And save this civilian too, which is a lot better. He's pretty similar to the one you get in the airport. Um, he has a, a Hawaiian top, or whatever you want to call it, with a double-sided torso which is really cool you get his oh no not another one it's one of those creepy faces again just like we saw in the passenger plane in the fireboat well they just stop making those faces they're incredibly creepy anyway yep nice shirt and that's the minifigures okay onto the mini train station yes you do get it with this set which is really cool so you have two train stations if you buy the the other one, which is good value. Um, so it has all of these signs here, which says it says Berlin, Madrid, Moscow, Dublin, London, Berlin, Paris, and Rome. I don't know what Berlin is. If you know, please put in the comments. Uh, has a bin. These yellow lines, which they make good use of. Um, they don't have a speaker though, which will be good. Uh, they have two seats and this little light thing. I forget what's called. Then you have this. This is the mechanism part of the train. But uh, first we go into the cockpit which has two. There's two of these. It's quite dark in there. I'll try and get a better view. Well, there's a blue seat in there and a piece that looks like this. I'll just get it out. I can, yeah. This piece inside, which is... I haven't seen that piece in quite a while. Maybe again in the police station, but yeah, you get two of them, because both of the cockpits are exactly the same. You have two of these black pieces which hold this thing, and it says Lego City. Mechanism part. It's not as complicated as the Adat. Um, 
that I have. It's over there. Uh, so it's pretty simple. Just attach a few wires onto each other. And voila. That's really it. Then this compartment here. Which isn't... Which is a little useful. You can put suitcases and stuff in there. But you can't really get them out after. Okay. Then you have this section. Which has... One, two, three, four, five, six. Six seats in this part, and it has tables, little holes on the side, which for people to fall down. Luke Skywalker, the thug, probably put them there. And then in here, with one, two, three, four seats. So that adds up to ten, including the including the drivers. It's twelve. So twelve seats. That's quite a lot. Just. Very good. And uh, if you're wondering, there is roofs for each of them. Now, onto the, the best part. It can actually move. This time it isn't broken like the other. So now that it's on, you get the remote, which looks a lot cooler than you are. And you can make it go and jam it straight into your door. It's a lot better when it has the track, but I can tell you it can go at 7 speeds and at its top speed I'll hold it down. Oh, wrong way! But if you know what I mean, it can go incredibly quickly. You can see the stress there. Whoa, it makes quite a noise. And you just press this red button to stop. So, that's it. It's a brilliant addition to your set. Um, I didn't have a very big room, so it was quite hard to fit in, but I managed to. Yeah, so this is a good set. I'd rate this... Ooh... 8 out of 10. Oh, one more thing. I forgot to put this there. You get that with it. Okay. That's just a last minute thing. Uh, yeah, so 8 out of 10. That's because... Uh, well, for kids it's 8 out of 10 because you can get great playability out of it it doesn't break that easily and the function the power functions aren't that complicated in it uh, I took away two because it takes up quite a lot of space and you need a big room to do it I uh, thankfully had just enough space to put mine in so uh, I was lucky um, so yeah and for adults I'm going to go with six because I don't think they're going to, you know, get a great playability out of just, you know, sitting there watching a train. Like with kids having quite a lot of imagination, they can play games with their friends. With the adults, they'll just keep it there staring at it. And it's not a great role model like the Yada is. So, uh, yeah, that's it. Um, hope you liked this review. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and if my reviews are too long or too short, just tell me, because uh, I love to hear you talking. Okay.